Good evening, captains. Um, I'm I'm here today to record the next episode in Mirrors of Discovery, which is Illusions of Communication, the return to Pavel to stop the destructive plans that could threaten the Quadrant. And sorry if I mispronounce stuff, I have a hard time pronouncing words. Um, let's see, um, just want to show y'all the update of, on my reputation. I already got 280, uh, ninth anniversary for, uh, vouchers. I got 40 from yesterday from the daily and 40 from tonight and 200 from the first mission. Um, Para Pacman, where we got a unique shield from. We'll be getting another 200 from here, which would put me at 480 um, prize vouchers. Um, forgot to mention before, the ninth anniversary will last all the way to February 21st. And as of now, it's currently January 24th. So you've got less than 30 days to get it done, which you can get it done um, if you do the two missions. That's 400 out of a thousand, which leaves 600 to get. Which it would take you approximately 15 days to get enough vouchers in order to get this done to get the ship right there. Anyway. Let's go ahead and... Our information about events at Pavo is incomplete. But I believe the Terrans are undertaking a large-scale operation there. They have managed to coerce the planet's consciousness into serving their violent needs. Furthermore, they've turned Pavo's transmitter into a potent weapon. Time is of the essence. While the Alliance is mobilizing a larger response, we are, in effect, the first responders. It falls to us to do what we can to stop Captain Tilly and her crew before they solidify their control of Pavo. Failing to do so could be catastrophic. Ideally, we should return the Discovery and her crew to their proper time and space. Under the circumstances, removing the Terran presence from Pavo is the more immediate, logical need. Hi. And let me set this as primary. And Okay, which yeah, we still have Pavo it's in beta. Let's go ahead and start. Based on my readings, I believe the Terrans have managed to alter Pavo's song. Somehow Tilly and her crew have manipulated it into a new type of harmonic waveform. This waveform is potent enough to realign the space around the planet, shifting it to a different quantum signature. As a result, a number of interphasic rifts have opened within the system. I believe she is attempting to bring things from the mirror universe to ours. Logic suggests an invasion force, based on previous encounters with the Terran Empire. We are not the only ones interested in this behavior. The time-displaced Klingons are moving to investigate as well. Considering previous encounters, the situation could become volatile quickly. Okay.
have the coordinates for the science station on the planet's surface. Roger to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and facilities. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and their facilities. Preparing for an armed response would be prudent. The research facility has already been attacked. We must see to the welfare of the researchers, if any survived. Okay. Your assistance is appreciated. Very beautiful how they got this set up. I have recovered. I mean, I can tell there's some nice graphic details. I like this blue and everything in here. My injuries are we not are fortunate that the Terrans did not kill everyone. They were more concerned with our research data and equipment. Our work appears to have given the Terrans what they need to communicate with Pavo in ways we cannot. They are now able to alter the planet's consciousness, causing it to reflect their own dark nature. Our security personnel should remain with us. We will need all the help we can get against the Terran forces. While trying to communicate with the planet, we have learned that it uses crystal matrices as transmitters. We have a small collection of crystal samples. They may be useful to re-establish the planet's normal biosphere, free from Terran influence. Okay, let's see. I was able to take readings of the area. Terran technology is not subtle, especially agonizer gear. I am reading it in several nearby locations. A meadow, a riverbank, and a narrow pass. I am also reading several Terran life signs in those areas. I do not expect a warm welcome from them. There is a canyon that exits to another glade of Pavan life a short distance to the south of here. Logically, the Terrans would seek out places where they can use their technology to attempt to subvert the planet. Okay, let's go to this The one. device there, near the crystals. Disable it to interrupt the Terrans' hold on Pavo. Sorry, I ain't saying much, just trying to see what else needs to be done. Okay. 
We should continue before the Terrans send reinforcements. Curious? I sense something. They are attempting to communicate telepathically. Fascinating. The Terrans have used their agonizer technology to induce a state of hostility in the Pavan biosphere. It is lashing out, using its empathic powers to project its pain and rage into other living beings. If the Terrans are able to do this on a large scale, the planet could serve as a massive telepathic weapon. It would be able to subvert or kill anyone, anywhere. We should disable this technology wherever we find it on Pavo. An interesting question. I believe the Biosphere has a stronger connection to myself and my team. It may have instinctively struck the most familiar minds first. That being said, I do not believe it will continue to exclusively attack the members of my team. Only those with the ability to harm the Biosphere will be immune. Yes. Now that I have experienced the psionic attack, I can take steps to shield my mind against it. The security officers, on the other hand, do not have my level of training in the mental arts. It would not be logical for them to continue on with us. Okay. So let's see. the graphics on this it's really awesome It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, the Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields in selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans.
And here you are, alive and kicking. Well, bravo! It is illogical for you to continue, Captain. Whatever you are doing to Pavo needs to end. Ah, the famous Vulcan logic! Get it straight. Pavo and I, we're just getting started. Oh, and that part about sending my best at you? I lied! Oh. This is gonna be quite interesting. Okay, so how do we stop this? before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. Time's up! Ready to die? Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna help, so let me restart it over here. Disable the controls to the right before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. Ever had an agonizer down your throat? No? You're about to. before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. Okay. You just got to my last nerve and jumped all over it. not how I saw this ending. You know it's only a matter of time before we beat you, right? You don't have the stomach to stop us. But we're more than capable of ending you. And I intend to make that happen. That seems unlikely. Your campaign of terror here is over. Captain. Oh, I'm not done yet, Vulcan. Till next time, you assholes. Fascinating. Hmm. Interesting. Somehow used Pavel's transmitter as a long-range transporter. Tilly could be anywhere in the quadrant now. If we are fortunate, we might find further clues among the Terran equipment. They did go to considerable trouble to arrange this site. Yeah. That was interesting. Let's come over here. I think we have found all we can here. It may be advisable to return to your vessel. 
deal with the situation in local space. Huh? Now that you have secured the research preserve, we must find a way to return the remaining Terrans and their vessel to their proper time and space. We can use the Ion Storm to send Discovery back. Specially modified probes can amplify the storm in specific locations. This can generate a localized ion effect and open a gateway to the proper point in space and time. Indeed, especially given the Terran predilection for hostility. Hmm. Oh, so I could fight against the Discovery, but without Tilly. The display has been updated with the locations to place probes around Discovery. Agreed. The time-displaced Klingons are still out there. And they have shown a distinct interest in destroying the Discovery, along with all of us.
real short trip. Shields are critical. We're losing them. Emergency power to shields. Now! Somat to discovery. Prepare for transit. Probes are in position. Activating in three, two, one. Engage. The Ion Storm has cleared, and we're receiving standard readings from Pavo. It's broadcasting its song as normal. No aberrations, no distress calls. It would seem things are returning to a calm, peaceful level. Once the research team is able to resume their duties, we will begin to analyze the impact of Agonizer technology on the Pavan ecosystem. Considering what we have just witnessed, it will be logical to make sure Tilly and her crew didn't leave any unexpected surprises on the planet as well. For now, I believe we can safely depart the system. Okay. It will take some time to evaluate the impact of the Terran occupation of Pavo. The agonizer technology they used to manipulate the planetary biosphere was invasive and damaging. I am concerned about the effect it had upon the Pavan ecology, and how that will affect future attempts at interaction with the planet. The fact that Captain Tilly remains at large is troubling. Her technological prowess and propensity for violence should make her presence in this time quite disruptive. Should she acquire current technology and return to her own time, it is possible that she will rewrite history as we know it, turning our universe into one more like her own, if not worse. In the meantime, we both have our duties to attend to. It has been agreeable working with you. Live long and prosper. Wow. Okay, that's quite interesting. Um, I'll go ahead and collect this because I don't don't have any of these. Congratulations, Admiral. Went up a couple of levels. Um, I wanted to say this mission was actually quite interesting. It was good. I'm glad that we fought against another. Uh, Terran Empire person other than Admiral Lita. I think I uh, can't wait to see the rest of the content that's going to eventually come out. Um, I know if I remember correctly this was something for now and then I know they was going to end up doing some more content here. I want to say probably in February or March. I want to say March. More content coming out in March, which I think is going to be like a um, part, uh, like a part. I don't know, half season update or something. I'm not sure. If they don't do it in around March. Uh, wait, take that back. They are going to do something because I remember saying they actually had plans how they all going to build into this, and it's based on how the show. Uh, discoveries taking place and all the twists and turns and all the Star Trek content that's going to be put in here. Um, but anyway, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much. And like always, live long and prosper. <laughs>